Hello， 大家好。大家好。So today we are going to make a new video, and last time, uh, a lot of followers are interesting about our relationship, and they are asking me how did I ask Ari out. So today we are going to talk about this. Yeah. Okay. Do you remember how did I ask you to lunch? So you messaged me、mm -hmm. and. You said, "Hey, do you know of any good Korean restaurants in the area?" And I told you,、um, but I had never talked to a Chinese person really. So I asked you, "Do you know of any good authentic Chinese restaurants?" That's a good opportunity. So I said, "Oh, I know one Chinese restaurant very authentic. So、mm -hmm. would you want to go with me?" But I will feel a little bit awkward. So I said,、yeah. uh, "Maybe you can." Bring your friend with you,、mm -hmm. and I will bring my friend with me. So that wasn't like a real. That was、date. a good start, actually. It was a good start. It <laughs> felt more comfortable because we both had someone we knew、mm -hmm. with us, so it didn't feel like everything depends on only you and me, right? The next question: Did you think I like you? Um. So when we had lunch that first time, I think he just wanted to meet someone more in America.、Mm. Um, and so actually, the person who came with me, she was like, "Ah,、uh, don't get your hopes up. I don't think he liked you, actually." <laughs> I mean, that's that was not true because, to be honest, that day I had another appointment. I never told you, right? Oh. I kind of canceled that one because I want to go with you. So. Oh really? Yeah. So I asked one of my friends. I said, "Do you have time? And would you want to go try some authentic Chinese food with me?" You canceled the plan, and you quick had to find a friend to come with you. That's right. That's, but when I you really were taking effort that I didn't know. Yeah, you didn't know. <laughs> but but it worth it, you know. <laughs> I remember that I didn't look at you, right? You know yeah, I mean? not too much. Not and too I think、much. that's why my friend thought that you weren't interested in me.、Mm -hmm. She was like, "Oh, Ari, don't get your hopes up. Like, you know, I don't think he's interested." But then、mm -hmm. you messaged me,、mm -hmm. and you said,、um, "By the way, I loved meeting you and your friend, and you're even more beautiful than your photos." Compliment. compliment. Yeah, a compliment, yeah. and that made me feel like. <gasps> Hope, like, oh, maybe he's interested. <laughs> Another strategy for American girls: you have to say a lot of compliments, you know, to them. <laughs> I don't know about every American girl, but I. But I, 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 was, I love words. I was sincerely to say that, you know. Oh. So always to be sweet, and you, sweet. you're gonna win, yeah. Yeah, sweet and not like. Just trying to say something. Oh yeah, you have to be genuine, you know. Yeah. After we have the first meeting in Chinese、mm -hmm. restaurant, and I continue to ask you、uh, out until we had a first date. Yeah. So, how did yeah? <laughs> do you remember how did I ask you out for first you know dinner date? Um. So. We had talked a little bit about that we both randomly、mm -hmm. loved demos. Yes. Which I had never met anyone who was excited about demos. That's <laughs> that's really interesting, actually. Yeah, and I was like, why does this Chinese man care about demos when not even many Americans care about demos? <laughs> I thought that was so interesting. And, you know, as a Foreigner、yeah. came to here only one year, so、mm -hmm. I really don't know other American restaurants. So、right. I went to there, and I really love Demo Spread.、Oh. So when you ask me,、yeah. uh, what kind of restaurant do I like?、Mm -hmm. So I said I want to go to Demo. Then you said <laughs> I was like, what? Because literally when I was a little girl. And Dad would go on、uh, work trips. Our one restaurant he would always take me to was Demos. Yeah, here is not the commercial. It is a really good restaurant. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not endorsing Demos. <laughs> Just like their their bread, the cheese bread. That's right. <laughs> so, do you remember what made it kind of crazy on the way over to Demos when you、yeah. picked me up? I remember that day I picked、mm -hmm. you up. Then we drove to the restaurant.、Mm -hmm. Along the way, I was 
so concentrated to our conversation, so right. I didn't pay attention on the cops. So one cop just followed me for like two blocks and finally pulled me over. So yeah, I was so shocked. <laughs> I said, "What? Like, what did I do wrong?" Right, and uh, I was like. Why is he pulled over? I yeah. also didn't know the reason because you weren't speeding. Yeah. So, I, did you did you like feel like oh maybe he's a spy? <laughs> maybe he's a secret spy or a criminal or something. I don't know because he followed you for a while. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so then the cops like came over and locked my uh, car windows. Yeah, like I I. I was pretending like confident, you, you know. Even though I'm I'm with a Native American, but I don't want to to show my nerves. Yeah. So I kind of uh, pass over the my ID card and my car insurance. <laughs> Which for me, I was like, oh, thank goodness he has insurance. Like I didn't know you very well at that time. Oh, yeah. I was like. Is he gonna know what to do? Like he's from China. Like, <laughs> I mean, that was my first time being pulled over. I I really don't know how to do. What, what but you know, sense? your fake confidence uh, was really. It felt real. Really? I was like, wow, this guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that that was like a, a fake confidence. In, inside, I was so nervous. I put my hands to the wheel and. <laughs> I, I don't know how to how to do actually. I can't move my body. <laughs> you know, you, trying to imagine that if you are in another country that like right. cops pull you over and wants yeah. to talk with you, you definitely will feel nervous. Of yeah. course, especially yeah. when you're trying to impress your date. <laughs> <laughs> then what's the reason? Do you remember? Oh, so apparently uh -huh. you were over six months expired on your your tax oh yeah <laughs> so in america um after you first buy a car uh -huh. um, you have to get it registered you have to get tags on it uh -huh. and you thought once i buy it i'm good mm -hmm. i paid for it mm -hmm. because i <laughs> Because I think I will leave, so I. That's I, true. Yeah, I never really pay attention to my car, <laughs> so I didn't know what will happen you right. know, if if my tax get expired. So right, but yeah. yeah, they expire like every year, mm. so you have to always renew them. I didn't know that, so I got a ticket. <laughs> yeah. I remember when you got the ticket. Yes. He well, he said, "All right." You gotta show up to court now. I was so surprised and I was so shocked. I said, "What?" You're like, I, I have to go to an American courthouse. Like <laughs> in Chinese, we call Fa Ting. I said, "What? I have to go to Fa Ting?" <laughs> I, I never I never went to Chinese courthouse. Oh really? Oh. <laughs> so right now I'm I'm gonna go to the American yeah, courthouse. Wow. wow. <laughs> so I knew that as someone who's not from this country, mm. that that would be terrifying mm. to go into the legal system. Mm -hmm. So I offered to go with you, yeah. and. <laughs> you are so kind. You know that was my first date with an American girl, so <laughs> I kind of messed up. And she is very nice as a friend. Oh, did we date that? Well, we weren't dating, but we were on a date. Okay. But I think you said that when I offered to go with you uh, to the courthouse, you were like, "Oh, great! This is yeah. a friend thing to offer." <laughs> yeah. Ari went to the courthouse with me. Yes. And. I remember that we we we've been waiting for three hours. Was it really three yeah. hours? Yeah. Outside outside of the courthouse, yeah. Yeah, and the whole time that we were waiting <laughs> before you actually stand up mm -hmm. before the judge, mm -hmm. um, we kept thinking, "Are you supposed to say guilty mm -hmm. or not guilty?" <laughs> like, <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Uh, and uh, we we did a lot of research on Google. Mm -hmm. We were like frantically googling, are you guilty or not guilty? If you didn't know that what you did was wrong, we were so struggling. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember that you you went 
and you stood before the judge. Mm -hmm. And I told you to say this, actually. I said, just tell him you're from China. <laughs> and so he got up in front of the judge and he said, you're so polite, actually, so cute. He said, hi, I, excuse me, I'm from China. I don't know if I am guilty or not guilty. <laughs> And uh, the judge just kind of looked at you and he's like, guilty or not guilty? <laughs> and then he said, okay, guilty, guilty. I was, I was, <laughs> guilty. I was scared. <laughs> that was a good memory. So because you said you were guilty. Yeah, so finally I paid $386. Ooh, that's a lot of money actually. Yeah. <laughs> just for not knowing you had to renew your tax yeah but that was a good memory with mm -hmm. you because we have experienced something together mm -hmm. so our relationship become becomes more deep right and we kind of know each other more right so, yeah. I was able to see how you handle being a criminal <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is our first date. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're so awkward, but good. <laughs> it was very good. Mm -hmm. uh, so the next time we can talk about uh, another story. Yeah. We had a lot of crazy stories. Crazy actually. story. <laughs> <laughs> so unexpect, we... unexpectable, you know. Right, unexpected. <laughs> Sorry. That's Un very cute though. Unexpe <laughs> unexpected. Expected. Unexpected. That's right. Unexpected. Oh, good job. Good job. So that's all for today. <laughs> Thank so. you guys. Um, if you want to hear more of our dating stories and see our life, um, please hit the subscribe button. Please give us like. That's right. Xing xing. Xing xing. Zai jian. Zai jian.